Welcome to another episode of Unearthing Southern Relics and Artifacts. I'm back. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually out at the bottle dump where I've been digging, but it's not going to be all just camera uh, facing dirt the whole time and mad digging. I'm going to walk around. I want to kind of show you all the area. This is a huge stretch of property out here um, at this dump site. And... Um, I want to show you all around just to kind of show you how massive it is and then we'll see what all we can find on the surface too because we've had a couple of big floods y'all have seen that um, in prior videos so um they're telling what all we can find that might have been unearthed uh for us uh by the uh flood so i'm kind of stoked about it um let's get after it and see what we can pull out of the uh dump site here today all right so as you can tell there's a lot of privet um and it is just classic Georgia, you know, middle Georgia swampland pretty much is what this is. And, I mean, there are bottles and stuff all over the surface. I mean, it's, they're literally everywhere. I mean, you could come out here and walk. That's cool, pretty cool right there. Nice cobalt blue there. But, yeah, you can literally walk and fill your backpack up in, like, a matter of minutes out here. I mean, there's just so much stuff on the surface. and. It's like y'all have said before, and y'all have seen some of the other digging videos. There's spots out here where you can dig uh, seven to eight feet, and um, it's just nothing but nothing but relics. As you can see, all the glass laying around. And that looks like a previous hole dug by somebody in the past, and right at the base of this tree. But um, the coolest part about out, out here is where this backs up to the creek. Um, when you get down in the creek and when the creek gets a lot lower i have to get some more bottles here when the creek gets a good bit lower y'all look at this little bitty cobalt blue in here when the creeks get get lower if i can quit getting distracted by bottles i'll tell you when it gets lower we can we can actually get down in the creek and it's just an embankment of glass um and we're gonna head that way and i'm gonna go show you that now the creek is down a little bit i'm not sure how far it down it, it actually is right now but it should be low enough to where we could see the bank and I can show you what's all exposed. You can just dig right there in the creek. So it is an excellent, excellent spot. I love it out here. So uh, I'm going to walk around and if I come across some cool stuff, which I know I will, I'm going to uh, cut the camera on and let you guys check it out. All right, so we are approaching the creek, as you can tell out there. It's going to be our creek. And interesting little interesting little jar right here oh that's a cool one i would have had the little wire hinges on it right there and that would have would have sealed up so that's an oldie it's not embossed but um most of the stuff on the surface is 1950s um, and that's kind of when this area stalls out i mean look where this tree has fell over right here and what all has been pulled up i mean you got hobble skirts and all sorts of stuff. Got your old snuff jars there. Medicine bottle there. But that's just the way it is out here. There's just so much. And you could literally just pick a spot and dig and find stuff. Or you could just do like I'm doing today and just walk. Um, but, you know, you're going to come across the majority of your older, older stuff digging. That's for sure. But what makes it convenient is when the river, or the, yeah, the river gets low and the creek goes down as well. It's just like I was saying, you can come over here in this this bank, and you can just dig right in the bank. You don't have to dig down, you can just dig in the side of it. Look at this nice cobalt blue bottle. Look at that. I mean, that's a beautiful bottle. I have one fairly similar to that. Would have had a label on there, but that's a nice bottle. I mean, that's a keeper right there, no doubt. But let's get over here in the bank, and let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the creek is still up a little bit. And it looks low, but um, during the middle of the summer, um, I mean, it'll literally be almost completely dry. So that's why I say it could be lower because um, I've seen it lower. It'll be completely dry. But you can tell in this embankment, if you just look right here in this spot, it's just covered in, in glass. I mean, it's the creek is doing all the work for us. So I'm actually excited about, uh, you know, middle of the summer when when june july and august roll around and this thing dries up we're gonna have so 
many new items exposed right there in the bottom of the creek. Um, and as you can tell, this whole embankment is just littered. So I'm going to try to get over here in a little bit better of a spot. And we'll dig around a little bit. We got something right here. What is this? So this is cool. This is an embossed bottle. If you look, you're like, oh, it's upside down. Well, it is. For half bottle, pour to here. So this is an interesting little bottle. What is this? C-R-E-R-T. Certo? Never heard of Certo. I don't know what this is. Made in USA. I'm going to keep that one. That's an interesting little bottle. We'll do some research on this one. I'm curious as to why you want it flipped upside down. Huh. Look at that. We'll keep that one. Put it in the backpack. Get it cleaned up and do some research on that one. But uh, we'll keep walking this bank and we'll see what else we find. There's so much, so much stuff on the surface. so I could probably keep the camera on and roll with it. But we're going to have a extremely long video if I do that. Let's just go over here and let's see what we can find in the bank. And then we'll do some more walking around. Look at all the turtles over here. They're over here. I guess they're searching for good bottles. Bottles too, huh? <laughs> they were all over here. They don't even really too much care about me. It's going to be difficult to get down in this embankment. But yeah, look. I mean, there's a nice Lambert. That's a Listerine. Lambert pharmaceutical right there nice hobble skirt sticking out of the dirt right here i mean and and what's crazy is these hobble skirts that are out here y'all on this creek last year when i came out here you can actually go back in the archives of the videos and find the video of me out here um there's just so many of them and see this is a uh, 56 so that's a 1956 right there from dublin georgia and that's where we are at so there's just so much out here, y'all. And that's kind of where it stalls out. It's about 50s. And the lower you get out here, the older it gets. So, pretty cool. And you can walk probably, I, I would say, probably about 300 yards. And this whole creek bank is just nothing but bottles on this left side. The right side is nothing. Now, there are some bottles scattered over there. And that's just because they've come loose from this side and been carried over there when it flooded. So... Uh, there's an actually when you go up over here there's another little branch off this creek that should be dry and we're going to go over and check that out too i've actually found some extremely older uh glass bottles over there as well so let's go check that out let's see if we can't get down here in this bank right here and look for a second though all right so i'm kind of just hanging on over here on the bank and just kind of looking picking around with the axe a little or the axe the shovel a little bit and right here, I mean, it's threaded, but that looks like it's going to be in some type of IV bottle. Right there, what does it say? An Abbott? And it says Abbott Laboratories, Duraglass. And it's got the measurements on it right there. And it says Solution right there. And what else does it say? blood so that is awesome that would have been your yeah like a blood transfusion bottle i mean that is just ridiculous y'all and that's what i'm talking about in this area there's just so much i mean it's not just like bottling works bottles and they're out here but you have so there's just it's everything everything from from what i can tell from the 1880s um, to about 19 mid 1950s um, was, was brought out here and that is an excellent find love it such an oddity find right there that's a good keeper well, right now I'm still checking my embankment and I, there's a couple cool bottles right there some big ones so if I can't get down there to those and let's see what they are maybe I can get on that tire right there and poke at it a little bit all right so I'm down here now I kind of wanted to show you now we got a better look at the embankment just what i'm talking about with it being a wall of glass and that is exactly what it is i mean there's just bottles everywhere here's your hot sauce bottles and i don't have gloves on so i'm trying to be gentle i got a nice pepsi bottle right there it's broke i mean it's just it's just all in here 
and I'm jumping the gun trying to get down here to these bottles, but you know, I mean, look right there. Nice jug. Look at there. Nice jug handled right there. What does it say? One half gallon. A little damage up top, but still, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. This area is just an awesome, awesome area. See the hobble skirt. I mean, look at all the glass, y'all. I mean, it just extends all the way out. So much. So, so much out here. This is truly a place out here that would take a lifetime to really dig through everything. And I don't even think you could do it by yourself. You'd have to have a few thousand people out here. Let's see what this little thing right here is. A toy car. Yeah, it could have been a toy car. Whatever it is, it's melted. I'm not sure. All right, let's see if we can't come off this bank and let's get back up here and see what we can find in this little dry branch. All right, so this is where the main portion of the creek still goes, and this is the branch I was talking about. It's not completely dry, but it's a lot lower. And uh, it extends out this way, too. And this is kind of the, the fork in the dump, and this is the... One of the, the most northern port uh, point of the dump. I haven't really explored over there on the other side of it. Um, but from what I can tell, I don't believe there's anything over there. Now, I really should go over there and look and just to see what's on the surface. Because it's as massive a, of a dump site as this is. I'm sure some stuff's been picked up and brought that way when it floods. And I've kind of been distracted because there's... I was looking for a, a new icy... And right here is a nice bottle, evidence of a real nice bottle. It's a Columbus. I'm trying to look at what this would have been. L-O. I don't know why I can't think of what this would be. I might need y'all's help. That would have been a great find. There's another one right there. Chances are, if we were to dig in this area, we would probably pull out some whole ones. No, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. But I don't want to go crazy digging today. I'm trying to take a break from the the digging madness and just kind of explore and see if I can't come across some things on the surface, which I've had a lot of success doing. And we've already had a good bit of success today doing that. So it's not like it's not possible. Knee high bottle right there, right on the surface. And they're all pretty dirty stained, but they'll clean up. All right, well, I'm just going to kind of follow this branch right here, straddle on the, uh, the top side of it and the edge, and we'll just see what we can't find. And then we'll probably, probably track through right through the heart of the bottle dump and see what's on the surface over there, too. Um, but, yeah, let's get after it. Maybe we can find something really good here in a second. Well, this little portion of the creek has always been one of my favorite places to kind of come out and look at because... I mean, just the whole area is beautiful. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at this area, y'all. I mean, nothing says Georgia Swampland like that right there. I mean, that is just classic Georgia Swampland. Just a beautiful area. And it's crazy that it's a dump site, you know? It's kind of like this is what, what we've been doing. We are definitely making a mess. Man. This this area, so I kind of want to explain that too. Well, I got y'all on here now. I'll go ahead and do it. But when I found this area, um, I was actually walking this creek looking for Native American artifacts. Um, it was a very uh, highly populated area uh, for Native Americans. Um, and the creek is actually named um, after a... Um, a bit of hard times for uh, the natives that were in this area. And um, so, yeah, I was walking this area looking for artifacts. And I did find some and then kind of just stumbled across this bottle site. And um, and then I've just been coming back ever since. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of it's kind of one of those things where, you know, if you're an explorer and you love history and you love looking for relics and bottles and stuff like that. I mean, this is just a great place. It's, it's awesome. But then again, it's kind of sad as to what we've done to an area that probably should have been preserved and um, really taken care of just because of all the Native American history that's out here.
Um, it's just kind of one of them things. A lot of mason jars today. A lot of jars. A lot of jars. All right, so what I've done is, is the creek we walked is in that direction, and that branch we walked is in this direction. And I followed the branch and looped back around. I'm at the most, the northernmost point uh, of the dump site, and as far as I can tell, there's nothing that's been dumped out of there um, in that area. This is kind of the more, most northern point of the dump site. This is kind of where I feel like they <clears throat> would have spent their last few uh, years of dumping is right here in this area. And I'm just kind of walking the area and looking. Um, look at there. Buffalo Rock ginger ale. That's cool. Birmingham, Alabama. That's a different style. I haven't seen that style before. I mean, and there's just so much out here. I know I keep saying it. I just want to look at every little bottle. But um, there truly is. I mean, you just look. I mean, you could dig out here and dig and dig and dig. It's crazy. Another little broke hobble skirt right there. I found a hole in a minute ago from Eastman, Georgia. Dated 1948. Sorry I didn't show you all that. Old doorknob right there. 50s, I'm sure. Another interesting little piece right here. Might have been... Looks like it could have been a bottle. Might have been like an Art Deco style bottle. Oh, grab my shovel here. Lots of stuff out here. Lots of stuff. Lots of glass. Nice cobalt blue bottle there. I wouldn't mind finding a nice Art Deco style bottle. RC Cola. Man, there's just so much. And it extends back this way. I mean, it goes a good ways in that direction. That's probably what I'm fixing to do. I'm going to check this embankment just a little bit more through here. And then we'll trample through the heart of the privet and see what's on the surface over there before we call it quits. All right, so now we're walking through the heart of this a track through the privet and this is kind of the where it starts to rise i'd say the bottle dump the dump side is probably about three and a half four foot deep right here look at the nice shell my nice snuff bottle you gotta be cautious you just never know what might be in that might be a uh nice spider in there that's pretty cool Yeah, I mean, it's just everywhere. I've actually found some insulators on the surface out here before. I was kind of hoping that would be the case. I think it was in this pretty this section where I've seen some remnants of some in the past. But this isn't necessarily the oldest side of the dump. I don't, you know, this, like I said, this is kind of where they finished off dumping. Um, the other side, the southern side of this dump side is where I've been doing most of my bit digging uh, lately. And of course, that's where I'm tapping into the 1880s uh, and super early 1900s. There's a cool little cobalt blue bottle. A little bitty thing. That's a cool one. A Noxema bottle. That's pretty cool. A little Noxema jar. But yeah, that's where, where all that stuff was. And I've dug on this side, but this side, from what I can tell, kind of, they didn't really start dumping over here on this side till the 20s and 30s. 20s and 30s look right there and old views that's cool old views mosquitoes are horrible I've even sprayed down and they're, they don't even care it's like they like to spray even better another hobble skirt there's a little cluster of stuff over here this is kind of what I look for when I'm walking around these little clusters because a lot of times when you're looking for a spot to dig, see there's another evidence of one of those. I don't know what that would have been. That is an awesome, awesome piece of glass. But I like to find this stuff on the surface. That's kind of what I judge where I want to dig. And I go from there. And I start digging little sample holes. Maybe a foot or two deep. And then that's when I kind of regroup again and think, okay, do I want to keep going or not? And that's how I make my decisions. Out here as far as digging that bottle looks older but it's warped up 
Yep, oh, Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. 10, 2, and 4. It's amazing how difficult it is to find a, a whole uh, 10, 2, and 4 uh, embossed Dr. Pepper. I mean, it is difficult. I don't know what it is, if it was the glass or what. They just don't seem to survive. Look at all the glass. What is this? Huh, nice coffee cup. All right, let's keep strolling. Ooh, spider. Yeah, I was just talking about insulators, and look, there we have it right there. A broke one. Those are always cool. Cool to come across. This wouldn't be a bad little area to dig, honestly. Wouldn't mind finding some insulators. Would not mind it a bit. All right, back to strolling. All right, so here's some more evidence of a bottle that's been hiding from me lately. Oh, these... Ooh, that would have been a nice Barks root beer, I believe. No, oh, no, actually, that's a Blatt's. So that's a Blatt's Brewing Company. Yeah, so that would have been a beer bottle right there, which would have been absolutely awesome. I love those Blatt's. That would have been a cool one. This might be a nice little area to dig. And um, Sometimes it's not always about the older, older stuff. There were some cool bottles in the 20s and 30s, too, I will say. Man, I would love to find the Blatt's. But yeah, I was thinking that it's going to be like a new Icy or something or a new grape. And they've been hiding from me. They're here, but they've been hiding as well. Just about any bottle you can name, they're out here. There's been that much stuff dumped out here. It's just a matter of getting lucky where you choose to dig and pulling across some. But I'm not going to find one, I'm sure, on the surface. Probably going to be mostly broke, but you never know. You never know. All right, let's check through here. If you thought the blood uh, transfusion bottle was pretty cool, this might have just topped it, y'all. Look at that right there. Look at that little bitty bird. Wow. And it has something on it, I guess, on the top, but that is just amazing. How has that survived out here? Man, that is awesome. Is that some kind of porcelain or what? Mosquito on my hand. Check that out. Let's get a better view of that. Look at that. We are in the thicket of the privet here. And cool little spot. Got some hobble skirts laying around. That one's got a nice little spider on there. I ain't gonna fool it too much. Got a nice little more Morlene jar right there. Little amber bottle right there, medicine bottle. Out of there is a new icy broke unfortunately we just talked about that they're hiding from me they're out here though there's just so much stuff in this little uh, area i was actually finding some uh, local bottles right over there there's some little cluster of local acl bottles which is pretty cool i was really hoping we'd come across some more on the surface looks like we got a little stash of them over here let's go check these out well i got you on here triangular bottle right there all right so here's a cool little spot and what you can tell is just this mound right here and what's happened is that tree fell and that would have been the the root base so it pulled up a bunch of old stuff and look at all the three center bottles right here they're all they're all, they're all busted but what's the three centers a little cluster that's pretty close right there though pretty close to being whole Always take advantage of that. If you can find a down tree, you want to look. Trust me. Because what it's doing is it's doing the digging for you. It's pulling that older stuff to the, to the surface. Another hobble skirt right there. It's busted. All right, let's keep tracking. We're almost done. Well, that's going to be all she wrote. I got like 5% left to record and... It's not going to make it. But uh, that's it. That's the, that's the bottle dump. We're going to get out. We're going to do some different things here in the next weeks to come. So I uh, hope you all are buckled up and ready for a great time because we are going to come across some things. I know it for a fact. Appreciate you all watching. Till next time, peace.